I, I was a little late today, and you know, I was I'm, I'm doing some things on the side. Bro, but I'm, side bro, but I'm I'm looking at myself in the mm. mirror. Test is and flowing. I'm, hey, bro, I haven't fucking I haven't told him that yet, bro. Probably. What is flow? What? Nothing, nothing, bro. <laughs> yeah, where are we going with this? <laughs> bro, I've been, I'm, I know I'm doing my thing. I'm, I'm sure, look, dude, that's nothing he hasn't I'm looking heard to him right now. You're probably, you're right, you're probably right. TRT. You're bro, probably right. shut the fuck up. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I asked yeah, yeah. him and he said no. Well, if you're to start your confidentiality, Joey, you let me see some records. You sure we will be talking about this? Go ahead, go ahead. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Looking, at, I'll be vague, but looking at your your results, it seemed like everything was okay. So I don't think it's necessary. Sometimes when you're doing this replacement therapy, you got to be careful because you're gonna, depending on what they give you, you're gonna lower your natural ability to produce it. So then you're gonna get to the point where you're. You, you can't be without it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what happens to a lot of these people that do steroids or some of these. Doc, he's on it too. We're going to put everybody on blast this, mo- this <laughs> month. He- <laughs> I'm stitching on everybody. <laughs> I, I said I, no, I, Doc. I, I said no. <laughs> All right, well, fuck it. Thanks, Lucas. We're here, bro. No, I mean. No, we, it, we talked about this. Mean? I sent right, this to you. Right. I sent this to you and I was like, hey, because we're going to talk I'm about always glad yeah, to so, put you on blast, by the way. So we talk about it? Here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. So opt- optimal test levels are not what your Go ahead average and tell a doctor, doctor yeah. is going to say is optimal. Okay. So an optimal test, so a test range is absolutely stupid. Uh, a test range per like, just like a regular, like family doctor. Right. They're like, oh, test should be anywhere from 300 to, to basically 1200. And if you're anywhere from 301 up to 1200, you're, you're perfectly good to go. Mm. Is that Three, true? 300 well, level test is fucking trash. And let me let me give a little preliminary warning here is that this is outside like I told you. Yeah. This is kind of outside of my scope of medicine, yeah. but you're right. The range for some of these tests is pretty wide. Yeah. Right, so I guess the one that we got tested for was 280 to 1100. Right. So here's the thing. It's outside of my scope of medicine where I'm not educated enough where I could give you an honest accurate answer to that. So I I, I have to be honest and yeah. say I don't know. Yeah, I yeah. respect the shit out of that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Random question. You know what, what you if test? you put something in your butt? I got you. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Thank you. He Thank technically you. is putting that so in his butt. Oh, yeah. He technically you can't is. prescribe me tests, but you can pull some fucked up shit out of my ass. <laughs> yeah, I got you, though. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Red, um, well, you could prescribe you, it, couldn't you? Do you, do you ever? I mean, I it? guess I technically could. Now, right. yeah. h- how did it prescribe the, the it? Ethical, the doses, yeah. The ethical yeah. I'm pretty sure they would probably, if I did, yeah, the ethical. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, did you mean to prescribe this? Here? Like, what did they come yeah. in for? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you saying? Do you know what your test levels are at? Actually, I don't. I yeah. don't. Because I don't, you know, when I go to get my, I'm 37 and, you know, just when I go see my family medicine doctor, so this is definitely more of a family medicine, maybe even a yeah. sports medicine thing. Yeah. Um, That's why I double check with yeah. two. Besides right. you, because unless I, you come in with a specific problem, like in some cases, if you're a young guy trying to, for instance, get your woman pregnant, but you're unsuccessful, what they'll usually do is check the man first, because usually the problem is with the man, mm. and they'll check his levels. But generally, they don't routinely check those levels. And again, I'm not a family medicine. I'm yeah, just yeah. taking this with a grain of salt. They. Generally, don't take check those levels right. at a young age unless you're symptomatic or you're yep. going through a certain situation or you reach a certain age. Like it's kind of like a colonoscopy. They don't do colonoscopies on thirty year old unless there's a reason, yeah, specific yeah, reason, yeah, yeah, no. individual reason for it. But once you get a certain age, where the risk becomes right. expen- exponentially higher at certain types of things, yep. you know, certain types of diseases, then they'll say, hey, you know, for instance, the prostate exam. No one was checking prostates on me when I was 20. You're not supposed to. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. when you get to I like, went in electively. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can, yeah. right? But I think the age is like around 40. When you hit 40, mm-hmm. I, I believe that's when they like, okay, we got to start doing prostate exams because yeah. prostate yeah. cancer starts becoming higher is that incident. what it is? It's 40? Yeah. I believe I think so, it dropped, man. actually. Yeah. It did it? Yeah, I think it dropped. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like the, the biggest thing I've That's learned, money grab, we can saying. obviously talk about this more off camera, but let's talk about it right now. I did a, I did basically a um, full blown like blood panel. Okay, um, all like all my hormone you saw levels. No, that was mine. That was mine. Oh, was yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We took the same. Um, shit. All my hormone levels and uh, everything, and uh, you know, just as you said, when you go to a family doctor, like you get like a, a blood exam. Right. There's there's very limited things that they're actually looking at based on um, your age and yeah. family history and things like that. Yeah. yeah. And when you start looking at like your hormone levels and like your full blood panel, um, and you you start thinking about actually like how you feel as a person, for sure. Um, your energy levels, how you sleep, yeah. um, midday crash. Uh, your mood, um, uh, sex drive, uh, muscle building, your ability to burn fat. There's mm-hmm. just like, there's so much that goes into play right. um, when you really start looking like at all those hormone levels. So absolutely. Uh, so yeah, I was, I kind of took my health 
to like a whole new level, like back in February, um, did, did, did one, uh, full like blood panel, uh, dieted pretty hard for like three, four months. Um, did another blood panel just like a few months back. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, it's through a, like a, it's like a wellness clinic, um, sports medicine kind of stuff. They do, they do peptides, they do hormone replacement, uh, red light therapy, the cryo chamber, mm-hmm. um, things That's like fancy high tech right. stuff, right? Um, so yeah, the like, office is crazy. So basically yeah. like, like all sorts of stuff. And, um, to your point, I think where a lot of people fuck up is they're like, Oh, like, let me just get on this. And then, you know, whatever, right. um, where Chewy and I go to is it's, it's monitored very closely. Right. So for example, I, I started like six weeks ago. I actually got blood drawn this morning. Mm-hmm. Um, so she's basically checking six weeks in. Okay. Hey, what's your levels at? How things are looking? Um, do we need to lower? Do we need to change? Do we need to put you on anything else? Yeah. Based on that blood, um, I'll do like, I think another one she said in like 12 weeks. Yeah. Um, so like three, four months from here on out, just kind of checking those levels. Um, but basically for me to get in like optimal shape, what I'm trying to do, um, plus obviously do a couple other things, energy levels, moods. Um, I can't complain, dude. I love it. Yeah. I mean, as as long, and this is what I told you when I said, you know, as long as you're being managed by a medical doctor or DO, like a physician, an actual doctor, not a, not a witch doctor and it's being monitored and do the standard of care then yeah, then you're good. You know, again, this is not my scope of medicine, my field of medicine, but if you're going to the right people and they're giving you these recommendations and you trust the the person, the physician, and they got a good rating or whatever, you know, then go for it, man. If you feel it works for you, then go for it. So right now, Doc, I was going to tell you at dinner, but fucking Lucas wants to spill the tea right now. Right. I'll tell him on everything, bro. He nutted in his grill today, just so you know, Doc. Doc, (laughs) Doc, every time. Five minutes, right? So you've obviously seen (laughs) us. Seconds, my friend. You've seen us, whatever, six months ago. It's the first time seeing Lucas. Uh, We are committing to you that the next time you see us in probably another six months for a podcast or even four months, we just getting sexier every episode. I told you, man, when you came, because I see your Instagram, I see that you're lifting, man. I ain't gonna lie, when you came to cut my hair, my, I might have checked you out a few times, bro. Hey, bro, I, I couldn't help could, you. I could, but I then you found out you got herpes and that shit is <laughs> off the table, man. No, bro, but, 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 the, <laughs> but the, the, the TRT shit is interesting because Evan, I mean, Evan, these, these, these guys are old as fuck compared to me. I'm still my young Yeah, 20s. man, I'm 37. I'm <laughs> nah, here, but I'm um, 36. <clears throat> bro, you don't even look 36, dude. I know. This is crazy. He told me he was like, I'm older, you know? He's like, yo, bro, you look like you're 20. What are you talking about? Everyone looks like a kid to me, though, man. Yeah, I mean, I don't well, know, dude, I like, like, like I checked. You, well, I you got like the, the, only, 30, the only reason why Doc, you, you look because you got him six months ago. That's the only reason. reason. How old yeah. would you say? If you had like the J's on and the fatigue, I'd be like, oh, well, like I never, 20. I never dress like that. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'd be like, oh, he's 23, 24. Not that anything's wrong yeah. with it. You know what I'm saying? If he was wearing the kicks, man, I'd say 24, 25. I'm just joking, man. All right, I would say maybe You're not going to offend me. What do you think I am? Come on. Show me you're a doctor right now. I would say maybe between 28, 34. 30, 34. You, I, okay. I landed on the ass end of your scale. But yeah, so I'll show there. you a I picture of him. Yeah. Yeah. Just like the testosterone levels, <laughs> I keep a wide yeah. range to cover oh, my bases. Fucking, you know what I'm saying? You're like between 18 and 108. Bro. Fuck, bro, yeah, bro, how much weight have you lost already? Uh, like 60 pounds. That's crazy. Yeah. Are you, are you doing the same, like, kind of? No. Okay. No, no, no. But I did do gastric sleep. Oh, okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. But That's I hit the up. gym now, and I, I yeah, know, a lot of you know, and good for you, man, because you know people go in thinking like, oh, I'll get surgery, I'll get a gastric sleeve, or or what, whatever, what, what have you in. And that's it. And it's like, nah, man, you got to you gotta still have the lifestyle because yeah. you're still not only you're going to have the same comorbidities if you don't fix your lifestyle, but 100%. you're going you're gonna to gain the weight and develop all these other complications. No, for, so for me, I think this is kind of the best part of, of everything. I, I, I felt so limited by my portion control, right? I was able to just consume and endlessly, right? Right. Once I got that surgery, I, you know, you're hungry less and you for can sure. literally fit less, right? Right. So it spearheaded me into like a, a health nut, bro. I go to the gym five days a week and I eat. That's dope, man. Good for you. Yeah, thank you, bro. Appreciate that's it. That's dope. Appreciate health it. Well. Yeah, that's great. That's, that's, uh, that's a lot of weight in amount of time, bro. I've lost 50 in since December. I mean, yeah, yeah but yeah. I'm proud it's of you, forever, dog. You're doing, you're doing the shit the right way. Yeah, you know man, what I mean? Could I have got motivated right. that way? Yeah, but for me, this, this may be And, and you know, I mean, you know uh, we talk how important the time is, but, you know, listen, man, everybody's going to age, right? So you can age gracefully 
Or it could be a long, the average person lives around, what, 74, 76? So it could that's be- That's the average? 74, 76? Oh, yeah. shit, that's young, bro. We got to get to we gotta get to having fun, boys. <laughs> Dude, I think so. <laughs> gotta, gotta, but nah, but yeah, nah, but keep that in mind. So, you know, one of the things I'm proud of, that I, man, I take so much pride in this, man, is that I'm not on any medication at 37, oh, you yeah, know? Five. Like, all my levels are good and things like that, you know? Doc, uh, tell them what you said about my blood, bro. It was better than yours. <laughs> I did say that. I did say that. Was <laughs> now, let me find out you were lying. But you're my, well, me. But my, you know, I, I'm being honest, but I've never had like my testosterone levels and things checked. So, yeah, I, yeah. you know, but some actually, but you, you know, I did check. I want your, you to get it tested. At least get it tested. I'm actually, sometime. now I'm actually kind of curious. You know, I got to look at that beard. You think he's fucking under 600? Bro. Come on, bro. You see this bald head, man? That's testosterone. All, guys all, I'm telling really, you, all I'm telling you is, is if it comes back Tell the doctor. Go ahead, in bro. like that three, 400 range. Like, yo, give me the juice. Dude, you take just a little bit, bro. You're gonna feel like a fucking <laughs> savage. Run it through walls, man. Doc, I'm, I'm week four bro. and I feel fucking good. Yo, yo, Chewy and I call each other about three, four in the afternoon. We're just like bro. marching through the day. That like, is wild. Like, no, I'm telling crazy. you, like cool. it's it is a yeah. significant like change. Like tell my me. my energy, so my tell mood. The doctor. <laughs> like I'm like I'm just I I like yeah I don't know. See, no, bro, it's, sorry, it's awesome, bro. bro. It's awesome. But, I, 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 like, but again, I'd that, be curious. This guy's gonna be out in the streets, the clubbing best, seals, the, dog. <laughs> 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 yeah, you done. The best way of describing it is literally like you feel like an eighteen-year-old kid. Yeah, it's yeah crazy, man. You, sure. you remember, you remember that? You remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah he he run around and <laughs> stay up all late. Yeah, stuff like that. You know, and sometimes, man, a lot of these levels, hormones, you no know, transmitters, can be modified by your diet. Because I don't know about yep. you guys, like, oh yeah, no, for sure. Especially as I got older, I've certainly maintained a more like high protein, low carb, yeah, low oh, fat yeah. diet. Oh yeah. And you know, complex carbs, like good healthy sugars, yeah, yeah. if you're gonna do that. And yeah. I can tell the difference, man. Like if I go on vacation, I eat some junk food and stuff like that, I'm gonna yeah. be fatigued, tired. But if I'm like sticking to a nice healthy regimen, got so yeah. much energy, man. Yeah. Like when I went to J Japan, actually, like me and my buddy went out there, and their diet is mostly like high protein because a lot of fish. Yeah, we yeah. eat about like a lot of fish, a lot of sushi, a lot of uh, a lot of like lean steak. Yeah. And they party out there like 5, 10 a.m., bro. It gets crazy. Bro, but we're like we that. were, we were average like two hours of sleep, but we were going and we were like, man, we, why we, we, we like, oh, even my boy no, was yeah. still, yeah, my that's boy what was still saying. Living. Not yeah. just energy. Like what I've noticed once I started being clean on, on diet and everything is your recovery is like, like I used to get fucking hangovers. Yeah, for my sure. Diet, and for now sure. it's like, we good. Let's go. Yeah, let's Back roll. Let's work. Whatever. Let's do it. Huh, not let's me. do it. <laughs> I, 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 I've watched my this fucking, guy. Yo. My fucking hangovers, bro. I'm shaking like a leaf, but I mean, I've, Hey, if you guys like that last clip, make sure you guys go to our channel. We got tons more. Fuck! <laughs> Listen up, guys. If you like that clip, make sure to go check out our page for all our other clips posted daily and full videos. You like that shit?